time now for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is Chef Ashish Alfred from No Way Rose and Duck Duck Goose. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for joining How us. Are you? Thank you for having me. Good. So Duck Duck Goose has been around for a little while. Four years. Four years. This summer makes four. And you just opened No Way Rose. Brand spanking new. Three weeks old. Holy cow. So you're like a dad not sleeping through the night right now. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show some pictures because your your inside of No Way Rose is very different. It's very vibrant. I like to think it's special. Pinks, yes. purples, blues. Look at that. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And that's, that's your outside. So do you specialize do you, in rosés? Do you have <laughs> wines in there? I mean, there's rosé in there. We wouldn't paint a 20-foot bottle unless we had a little rosé. <laughs> I would think um, so. <laughs> um, no, it was just a cool name. You know, No Way Jose was there for a long time right around oh, the corner. Oh, that makes sense. So it was a spin-off, something that people already knew. Uh, we've got a great wine selection. It's a great cafe culture. Well, and we saw some desserts, and then we're seeing some other, some of your Salmon. cuisine. Salmon. Let's slow down on the pictures just a little bit, because what are we looking at there? You're looking at roasted salmon with a little mustard beurre blanc. Uh, and on the side of that, there is a champagne pina colada. Whoa, no kidding. Wow, that's a different take, right? Yeah, Did you come bit. up with all these little recipes? I've got a lot of help. I've got a fantastic team. This is fantastic. You've got oysters there too? Yep. Wow, and then today for us, you're going to make a beet salad. I am, I am. So super simple, you know, beets get a bad rap. <clears throat> I think people just don't realize that there's so many different things that you can do with them. So here I have a roasted beet, and mm -hmm. this is a mandolin, something that everybody should have in their kitchen. But you should know how to use a mandolin. You should know how to use it. I had a bartender sure. sacrifice a finger the other night, and it oh. took us a better part of an hour to stitch them up. So. I would bet. But don't let that scare you. Do you so keep really thin on a mandolin on the side? Just, uh, we do. Just, just wondering. That is super glue. Okay. You know, it's amazing. So, so I'll just really nicely lay okay. these out over the plate, just around in a circle. Why do you think beets do get such a bad rap? Because I think people either love them or hate them. I think because they're hideous. Uh, I think when okay. you see them in the I love store, that you admit that. <laughs> I think when you see them in the store, they just look like these like odd shaped, disgusting yeah. looking blobs of dirt, um, and they can really be something beautiful. So we have the cooked beets. Ow! No, I'm just joking. Oh, I'm just joking. scared me. We're I don't good. have super glue. We're good. We're good. <laughs> um, you know, you see them in the store, and they're just mm -hmm. like these dirty blobs of whatever, uh, and you don't realize there's so many things you can do with them. But you put a beet in the oven, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. You know, about an hour, hour and a half till it's nice and soft and you're good to go. And then what are those? So those are raw beets. So okay. we've got cooked, we've got raw, we've got some toasted almond. Nice. We'll hit this with just a little touch of some dressing. And clearly what you're doing there, and then we see from your pictures too, you believe that food is art. Uh, I do. I'm Well, art and also, you know, you eat with your eyes before you eat with your belly. This is so true. You know? And the sense of smell is so important. Our, our floor di director, Kiana, kept saying, I don't know what he's making, but it smells so good. Because <laughs> you can tell all your fresh materials. Well, you know, we roast the beets with a little bit of mm -hmm. garlic and a little bit, little bit of thyme. So as soon as you cut into them, that flavor releases. And, and what'd you put beautiful. there? And that was just a little bit of creme fraiche. Sorry. Oh, okay. Creme fraiche. Uh, a little bit of creme fraiche and then green stuff to make it pretty. Nice. And our director just said we have one minute. Is that one minute for our cooking segment or one minute left in show? Just left in the show. So we're going to bring Taylor in here. And so if people want to find you, where do we find you? Because you're in Federal Hill. I'm in Federal Hill and I'm in Fells Point. So you can find me on Cross Street in Federal Hill. And you can find me at the corner of Broadway and Thames in Fells Point. Fantastic. And Duck Duck Dukes also focuses on French cuisine. Yes, ma'am. French, French, French. All right. And do we need reservations to come? Uh, I know a guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we know a guy now, too.